Oh man, I I, I absolutely love this man. Absolutely just love this so far, man. My brothers and sisters, what is good? Holy weekend. Wow. That that could be an expression at this point. Holy weekend. As it is Saturday morning. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Link is posted in the description box below. Like I said last week, I usually don't do individual games for the Pirates. I usually just... Uh, recap the series as a whole but this home opener man this deserves a separate video 13 to 9 pirates get it done over the chicago white Sox at the home opener at pnc park a packed house as you might expect everyone wearing black there as andrew mccutcheon the man of the hour who made his first game back at pnc park requested, and when Kutch says wear, wear black, you wear black, man. And the Pirates, well, they were red hot yesterday with the bats. An offensive explosion yesterday, man. So I'm going to get the bat out of the way first, which I think everyone can agree with. Rich Hill. Rich Hill. Dude, j just go to a retirement home or something. Just get off the team. You you're you're done. Okay? We're talking about a guy who once no hit us through eight innings and then he lost the game by giving up a solo homer. I think it was to Josh to uh, Josh Harrison back when he was a Dodger and back when the Pirates were spinning the tires of being mediocre and being, you know, a rebuilding team. So Rich Hill, just get off the team, man. He, he got pummeled yesterday. Four innings, eight hits allowed, allowed seven runs, and he gave up three homers yesterday, only one strikeout. When a 43-year-old is your second starter, th that's not a good sign. So Rich Hill, we won yesterday, no thanks to Rich Hill. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the good. And there is a lot of good from yesterday. Well, first of all, um, it, it was just beautiful to see uh, A.J. Burnett and Russell Martin go out there on the mound for the ceremonial first pitch yesterday. Just great. A.J. Burnett, one of my favorite Pirates that I've ever seen. So nice to see him back. Same with Russell Martin. His homer against Johnny Cueto in 2013 will always relish in my mind. You know, that was very nice to see. But getting on to the team yesterday, man. Andrew McCutcheon, his first game back, had a pretty solid game. Two for five yesterday. Really good game for him. He knocked in two hits. Carlos Santana opened up the scoring with another solo homer. Second homer in as many games. Man, what a find and what an acquisition Carlos Santana has been so far. You know, like I said, I mean, I was a little cynical of the move at first because I was like, eh, you know, guy was at the tail end of his career, guy was in his 30s, but... Hey, Carlos Santana has been pretty solid for us so far. He has two home runs in as many games. Key Brian Hayes yesterday, another solid game for him. Two for five, drove in a run. I mean, the Pirates had 19 hits yesterday, man. 19 hits yesterday. There are only two players in the entire lineup who did not get a base hit yesterday, and that was Jack Sawinski and Rodolfo Castro. I mean... Obviously, it's only seven games in the season. They still have a long... There's still plenty of time to uh, to make up for that. But Sawinski, I've been a little disappointed with so far. Castro, you know, I said on opening day that, oh, you know, I want to see Castro start second over G1 Bay. But at this point, I'm starting to say, put G1 Bay at second, and I would give Connor Joe some more playing time. And speaking of Connor Joe, how about a game for him yesterday? Four for five, two runs scored, an RBI for him, including a bunt single. Man, the Pirates are starting to become the Pittsburgh Bunners right now, man. I freaking love it. A bunt single for, for Connor Joe. What an acquisition he's turning out to be, man. Making some plays in right field. Great defensive mind, has a good swing. I like this guy so far. Connor Joe 
has been a really good acquisition so far. Jiwon Bay, as I mentioned, shining again. Three more hits for Jiwon Bay and five at bats. He had a couple of runs yesterday. He drove in an RBI. Jason DeLay yesterday, also three for five. Also had two runs yesterday. Also drove in an RBI. Our backup catcher doing that. But let's talk about the one. But before I get into that, O'Neal Cruz, solid game for him. One for three with uh, two runs scored in an RBI. Two walks yesterday for O'Neal Cruz. I really like O'Neal Cruz in the leadoff spot. He really flourishes right there. But let's get to the one that I know everyone wants me to talk about. And that's number 10, Brian Reynolds. By the way, did I mention uh, sign Reynolds? Well, if you're not convinced that Brian Reynolds needs to be signed, I think yesterday's game is going to convince you. Brian Reynolds yesterday, 3 for 5, 6 RBIs. 6 RBIs for Brian Reynolds, scored 3 runs himself, including an absolute moonshot to center field on a 3-run homer to give the Pirates a 7-5 lead. And then, I don't know if you want to call it a triple. I don't know if you want to call it a triple and then a stolen and then stolen from home on a wild throw. I'm calling it a grand, an inside the park grand slam. Technically, it was ruled a triple, but the throw to third was wild, and that allowed him to advance to home to score the run and make it 12 to 7. So I'm calling that an inside the park grand slam, man. Call it what you will. That's what I'm calling it. If you, like I said, if you don't think this guy doesn't deserve an extension and he doesn't deserve to get paid, I don't know what to tell you. You're just in denial at this point. This guy is absolutely deserving to spend his career here to be the leader of the team. He's the league leader in home runs so far. He has five homers so far. I mean, that alone should does, should get him a couple of bucks right there. Wow, man. Six RBIs yesterday for Brian Reynolds. Six RBIs. You know, I know it's only been seven games, and I know that it... There's still a lot of baseball to be played, to put it lightly. But I'm loving this so far, man. We're 5-2. and two. We've won four in a row. And, you know, over the past couple seasons, whenever the Pirates were on, I would be like, oh, nice, the Pirates are on. But now it's like every single day when the Pirates have a game now, it's like the Pirates are on. You know, I'm starting to get a little excited. I'm starting to, what's the word, uh, tune in to games and get invested. It's okay to get excited this early on, man. And, you know, I'm not that kind of person that's like, oh, well, um, this time next month we're going to be here, um middle of the season, the Pirates are going to be here. Oh yeah, we're going to win the division. I don't try to think about that because my mind can't go in that place. It's nearly impossible for me to. So instead, I'm taking it day by day. And yesterday, usually when our starting pitcher allows seven runs, we're brown bread. We ain't winning that game. But the offense was able to battle back and the offense was able to earn Rich Hill a non-decision yesterday against a very good pitcher in Lucas Giolito that the Chicago White Sox have had for years now. So in years past, I mean, our starting pitcher gives up seven runs, the game's over. We ain't come back from that. This collection, this collection of ballplayers that the Pirates have now that's like a mishmash of young guys mixed with some players who have been in the league for some time. 
They're picking up support. They're picking up runs. They're getting on base. They're doing fundamentals. They're playing great defense, and they're supporting their pitcher and their teammates. This is a different Pirates team, man. I'm telling you that right now. This is a different feel to a to the Pirates. Something that I have not felt with this team in at least seven years. And it's a beautiful thing to see. Like I said, I know it's only been seven games. I know there's still 155 to go. But let me ask you something. Would the Pirates have won any of these games in 2022? Would we have won any of them in 2021? Would we have won any of them in 2020? Even in mid-2019, would we have won any of these games? I don't think we would have. You know, I, I was sitting here complaining in winter and over the past couple seasons that saying, you know, this rebuild's going nowhere. Oh, you know, we're doomed to be losers forever. This rebuild is going somewhere. And it's only a matter of time. To Like, I, I know I sound like a broken record when I say this, but it's an important aspect of being a small market team like the Pirates. You know, other small market fans, like if you're a Reds fan, if you're a Cleveland fan, if you're a Tampa Bay fan, an Oakland fan, soon to be Vegas, I'm assuming. Um, if you're a Brewers fan, a Twins fan, a Marlins fan, even a Cardinals or a Royals fan, you get it. This, it. It's a tough life to be a small market team. That's why in order for this rebuild to go somewhere, the small market teams need to draft and they need to build from the farm system well to be competitive. We can't give we can't give every single player on these team on this team hefty extensions. That's why we have to pick and choose. And if you were to ask me right now, Brian Reynolds is first at bat with an extension. Then you allow O'Neill Cruz to establish himself, give him an extension. We already signed Key Brian Hayes last year. Those three right there need to be Pirates for the long term because we got Henry Davis coming up. We got Nick Gonzalez coming up. We got Travis Swaggerty coming up. We got Tramel Sledge coming up. We got um, Andy Rodriguez coming up. Got a lot of kids coming up from the farm. And hopefully we get that kid out of LSU in the draft as well who's been stealing the spotlight down there. But what a win yesterday for the Pirates, man. It's just a thing of beauty to see. I'll have this series recap out tomorrow night. And that's when I'll be able to make a video next. Um, yeah, 13-9. to I'm pumped, man. I can't wait to watch this team tonight. And honestly, tomorrow when I'm in when I'm in Pennsylvania, I can't wait to watch this team play tomorrow afternoon on Easter. Let's go, Bucks, man. That being said, I wish all Ian's guys a very happy and blessed Easter. Hope you have fun. And uh, may the good Lord look upon you and look down on you and his blessings be with you and your family. Stay blessed, everyone. Steel Sermon, checking on out for the night. May God be with you all.